Hi library friends, my name is Jamie and I work here at the Laconia Public Library. Thank you for joining us for another craft. So today we have a really, really fun and pretty easy craft that I want to share with you. Um, and before I show you what we're making, I want to show you a couple of my favorite books that go along with this craft that we're doing today. So the first one is The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Do you know The Pigeon? The Pigeon is one of my favorite characters because he's very tenacious. Do you know what tenacious means? It's a pretty big word, isn't it? It's a word that means he tries really hard to get what he wants and he doesn't give up. And I think that's a really good quality to have. It's a really good thing to keep trying and keep, keep working for what you want. So, so we have The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. We have another pigeon book called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, where this pigeon really, really wants to drive a bus. We have another book that stars my friend the pigeon called The Duckling Gets a Cookie. Um, these books are all written and illustrated by Mo Willems, who is such a fun author. He has many, many books here at the library, um, and they're all fun and, and really um, silly books sometimes. Um, the other two books I have for you are nonfiction, so that means they are real. They're not made up stories like the pigeon books. They're real stories or real, real books. So the first one I have is called Look Up. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little shiny, huh? Bird watching in your own backyard. So this book tells all about the different birds that you could see in your own backyard. And now is a really good time for bird watching because it's spring and the birds are starting to come back from the south, aren't they? We can hear them in the mornings and they're so chirpy and they sound so happy. So I love this time of year when the birds come back. And then the last book I have to show you is called World of Birds. And it's another bird watching book, birds that you could see maybe in your backyard. There is even a pigeon in here somewhere. So these are all books you can check out at the library. All you have to do is give us a call and we will set them aside for you and you can come pick them up. So before we get into the project, I wanna show you what we're gonna be making. So today we are making the pigeon. And this pigeon is special because his body, can you tell what it's made out of? His body is a handprint. So we are making handprint pigeons today. So I'm gonna get set up with our materials and we'll get started. So for this craft, we only need a few simple materials. Um, I have some construction paper here. I have black, blue, white, and yellow. But if you don't have any of these colors, you could always paint or color with markers or crayons. You could color plain white paper and make them any color you want. You also don't have to do a blue pigeon. You could do a pink pigeon or a yellow pigeon or a purple pigeon. So you have lots of choices. I also have a pair of scissors, a pencil, a black marker, uh, and a glue stick. And that's it. That's all we need to make Mr. Pigeon here. So the first thing we're going to do is um, a hand cut out. So we need to trace our hand, right? So the easiest way to do that, if you are right-handed, is to trace your left hand. So I'm going to get this blue paper and I'm just going to trace my hand with the pencil. So we're going to do, and yours might be smaller than mine, and that's okay. Yours might be bigger than mine, and that's okay too. You can make this pigeon's body as big or as small as you want. So we're just going to trace my hand. Here's my hand right there, and we're going to cut that out, and then we'll get started with the rest of the parts of the pigeon. Okay. Now that I've got my hand cut out, I'm going to draw a wing. So we're just going to do a little zoop and a little zoop. And you can make the wing any way you want. It's your pigeon's wing, so you get to make it look the way you want it to look. 
So now that we've drawn the wing, we're gonna cut out the rest of the parts of the pigeon. So you're gonna use whatever colors you want, but I have black paper. So I'm gonna use black paper for the pigeon's legs and for his little eye pupil here. I'm gonna use white paper to cut out a circle for the pigeon's eye and for a little collar here for his neck. And then I'm gonna use the yellow paper for his beak. So I'm gonna go cut those pieces out and you can do the same thing if you want and we'll come back and we'll start putting him together. Okay, so now we have all of the pieces of our pigeon ready to go. So we have a blue body, which we already drew the wing on. We have a long blue neck. We have a blue circular head. And then we have a white eye with a black pupil, a yellow beak, and two black legs. So I'm gonna start putting them together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue his neck on because I like to make him start looking like a pigeon as soon as possible. And it probably would help if I took the cover off the glue first. So we're gonna put some glue on the bottom of his neck, on the front side of it. And we're gonna just put that right under his body, just like that. Okay, push it down a little bit so the glue sticks. And then we're gonna put, oops, we're gonna put his head on next. So I'm gonna do that by putting some glue on this blue round part and adding it to his neck. And then he has a head. There we go, I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue underneath here because it wasn't sticking to the neck all the way. So next, I have this little white piece that's his eye. So I cut that into a circle. It's not a perfect circle, but I just kind of eyeballed it. Did you get my joke? All right, um, I'm gonna stick that on sort of right in the middle of his head there somewhere. You can put it anywhere you want. He's not picky about where his eye goes. And then I'm gonna put his little black pupil there on his eye. This is so he can look in whatever direction you want him to look in. My other um, pigeon that I made is kind of looking forward. So I'm gonna have this pigeon looking backwards. He's looking behind him. So there I see, you can see the way that you place the pupil in his eye makes him look in a different direction. So that's kind of cool. You can have him look wherever you want. It's gonna stick to the table a bit. Okay, so next we're gonna put on his little yellow beak by adding a little bit of glue onto the end of the beak. There we go. And then I'm going to do, oh, I forgot to cut out his collar. We'll do that really quickly right now. And I did. I did cut out his collar. It's just right here and I forgot to put it over there. So we're going to put his collar on. We're just going to put a little bit of glue right here on his neck. We're going to put the collar on right here. And then see how it's a little bit too long? We're just gonna cut off the ends, just like that. And you can help have a mom or dad help you with this part if, if that's kind of hard to do. So there we go, now it matches the size of his neck. And then all we need to do is add the little feet and we are done with this guy. So there's one leg. We'll just stick that right under there. And here's our other leg. And we're gonna stick that right under there. Ta-da! Our pigeon friend is all done. Thank you for joining me for today's project. Um, the pigeon and I are really glad that you were here with us today. Um, just want to say thank you to Mo Willems for being an amazing creator and for bringing us the pigeon and all of his other stories. Also to Hyperion Books, which is the publisher of the pigeon books. Um, thank you to them as well. We are really hoping to see you again in person soon. We don't know yet when that will be, but we will let you know as soon as we know. Um, until then, we're going to keep doing these programs. We'll be doing craft programs. We're doing a Mother's Day program coming up soon, um, a Mother's Day craft that you can make for your mom. 
We are also continuing to do story times and book talks. So you can check those out on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. You can always go to our website, laconialibrary.org. Um, and you can find links to both our YouTube channel and our Facebook page on our website. Also, if you want to share any crafts that you're making, please, please send those to us. Send us pictures of your crafts. You can send those through Facebook or there's an email link on our website. You can send them to those. We would love to see what you're making, especially if you're making some of our projects that we're sharing with you. So. Hopefully we'll see you again soon in person, but until then, we hope to see you here. And um, I had fun making this pigeon with you today, so thanks. Bye guys, see you soon.